Hey everyone, Steven from Straight Fire Picks. We got best bets for NFL Week 3, Monday Night Football between the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants on Monday, September 26, 2022. We're going to have NFL player prop spreads, over-unders, totals bets here for you today. We're going to have three picks that make a great value bets for this Monday Night Football game between the Cowboys and the Giants. As always, just want to thank you all for your continued support here on the channel. If you're new to the channel here today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 7,000 subscribers. Reminder here at the channel, you guys, that we are now partnered with Price Picks, so be sure to use our code SFP for a 100% deposit match and your first deposit up to $100 on Price Picks. You can also use one of our links that we have down below in the comment section and in the description. It really is a great app, guys. It specializes in player props and things of that nature. You can put multiple picks into an entry to win a lot of money. Really is a lot of fun to use. Highly encourage you to check that out. Like I said, just use our code SFP for that 100% deposit match of up to $100 or one of our links that we have down below for that. Be sure to also check out our community Discord page as well. Great place to connect with our community and to get new ideas for bets. We'll also have a link in the comment section and in the description for that. Be sure to also drop your favorite pick down below in the comment section. If you like your pick included in our comment capper section, just be sure to put a star or an asterisk next to your pick. And to include your pick in the video if it hits. Okay, now it's time for a shout out to our Straight Fire MVPs. So as always, guys, you see this beautiful list here running beside me of all of our Straight Fire MVPs. If you're interested in becoming a Straight Fire MVP, there's a join button down below. We'll also have a link in the comment section and in the description for that. It's a great way to support the channel and what we do here at the channel. It's just $3.99 per month. You get some custom emojis badge next to your name, access to our picks early, shout outs in our video, and a custom roll color in the Discord. And uh, like I said, it's just a great way to support the channel and what we do here at the channel. So be sure to check that out. Okay, now results from the previous episode. So this is from Thursday Night Football. No, I already went over the results from Thursday Night Football. I don't have any results for it yet, guys. Uh, it's kind of that weird I'm recording during all the games. So uh, we don't have any updated results for you as of right now, other than our result results from Thursday. Um, as far as our, and I already went through our comic cappers too. So what can you do? We're, uh, we're home free today. Um, I might as well take the opportunity though to remind you guys that we do have a live stream coming up for this game on, uh, on tomorrow. <laughs> I cannot talk today. I'm telling you, it's a real problem. Uh, for this Cowboys Giants game, we're going to be having a Monday Night Football live stream featuring game audio and a watch party. It's a great, you know, time to come out and hang out with the community uh chat we have a lot of fun at those uh last week was easily our biggest live stream had a lot of fun at that uh we have our bets up on the screen so it's it's just a good time so hope you guys can join us for that uh will start around eight o'clock you know 15 20 minutes before the game starts we'll kick up that live stream so be sure to check that out guys okay now let's get right into our place for today let's get this 3-0 sweep today guys let's get it rolling here on monday night football so let's get right into our picks here and number one we are going with the Dallas Cowboys money line here versus the New York Giants. Plus 100 odds here on Bet Rivers. So guys, we know Cooper Rush is the quarterback now for the Cowboys. He took over for Dak Prescott when he got injured there in week one. And honestly to me, I'm not seeing a big drop off in this offense with Cooper Rush under center. And that actually goes back to last year too when Cooper Rush came in. Uh, played against the Minnesota Vikings on the road, played very well and led them to a victory. Did the same thing last week. We actually had the Cowboys spread last week. That was one of the easier caches of the year that we've had. Plus seven and a half, they ended up winning the game outright. So I think this is another good spot for them. They're actually plus money again this week versus, you know, definitely a worse team here in the Giants when you compare them to the Bengals. I think the Giants are a little too overhyped right now. They're 2-0, and but look who they played. They played the Carolina Panthers, who I, I just... I watch play football and I'm like, I just, mm, you know, Baker Mayfield, you know, uh, you know, the defense. You know, I'm just not inspired by anything I see on the field from the Carolina Panthers. I don't think that was really a big test for them, especially being at home. And they played the Titans in week one, and so far the Titans have also been that team that you know they got absolutely drilled on Monday Night Football. Um, you know, and really, you know, that's kind of the thing, you know, for those two teams, Titans and Panthers, just have not looked great so far this season. They're combined 0-4, obviously coming into week three. Um, and I think, you know, the Cowboys here have had a very tough schedule. And they ended up, you know, the first two weeks, they had to play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, so obviously that was very tough on them. Uh, they ended up getting through those two games going 1-1. One one. 
Uh, like I said, with Cooper Rush at quarterback, this defense is very strong here for the Cowboys. We know this. Uh, like I said, I don't think we're losing much here with Cooper Rush. I think the Cowboys can win this game. Even with, you know, a game manager and Cooper Rush, they can win this game with their defense and the running game. We know, you know, Zeke Elliott, Tony Pollard, and this defense is elite this year. They have an elite defense. Cowboys have also had the Giants number in the last five or six years. They've won nine of the last ten meetings in this series. Absolutely dominating this series. And I think where you're getting the value here is the fact that the Giants are 2-0. I actually, I mean, I love that for the sake of this bet because I think it's a little, how do we, I don't want to say fake. Is that the word I want to use? What's the word I want to use here? It's just too, a little too good to be true. I don't think they, uh, I don't think, you're 2-0 and or you're 2-0, and but I think at the end of the day, I think, uh, I think they're going to get exposed here on Monday night against a very talented Cowboys team. Across the board, you look at the talent disparity between these two teams, it's rather large. You know, coming into the preseason, there was a reason the Cowboys were 10th in power rankings. Giants were 28th in the power rankings and ESPN in the preseason rankings. There's a reason for that. Talent disparity. Um, obviously, Dak Prescott kind of helped that ranking go up. And the Giants have obviously outplayed that 28th spot. I'm not saying they're that bad. Uh, but I don't think the gap has been closed quite that much yet uh, to make the Giants favorites here. I don't believe they should be. I don't believe they should be favorites. You know, Giants defense has been good so far this season. I can't hate on them too much. The twelfth in yards, tied for ninth in points allowed. Now the Cowboys defense, they've been tested much harder versus two much better offenses there in the Bengals and the Bucks. They're sixth in yards, um, and like I said, fully tested there and tied for ninth in points with the Giants. Both have allowed the same amount of points. Um, and I think here, I just think you're getting great value here on the Cowboys. I think they're the more, obviously, more talented team. I think Cooper Rush is a little bit better than people give him credit for. I think he's one of the better backups. You know, having a chance to watch him play in the couple of starts that he's had last year versus Minnesota and last week versus Cincinnati, he was big time. Really, in both those games versus two very good teams. The Vikings are a solid, were a solid team last year. And obviously, the Bengals were a Super Bowl team last year. You know, they went to the Super Bowl. So. Really do love it, guys. Love it there for our number one pick. We're going Dallas Cowboys money line here versus the New York Giants. Plus 100 odds on Bet Rivers. Okay, and at number two, we are going with Noah Brown. Over 37 and a half receiving yards here for the Dallas Cowboys. Minus 114 odds here on FanDuel. So, guys, this has been one of the guys that's been one of the surprises early on in the season here for the Dallas Cowboys and his connection here with Cooper Rush, particularly last week, catching five passes for 91 yards and a touchdown. It's actually two out of two so far this season to this line. It's been one of the more effective wide receivers here on the Dallas Cowboys, posting longs of 91 and 68 yards, like I said, getting his first career touchdown last week. I like getting him here. I think we're getting some really good value on him because he's still kind of... You know, still kind of flying off the radar. He doesn't have a big receiving line at all. All we're asking for here out of him is about three catches. I mean, he's averaging 15.9 yards per reception. You put three of those together, you got yourself 48 yards right there. Maybe even two catches might get this done. I think that's why I really like this. This guy's had a couple of big plays down the field. Actually, in both games, had a 28-yarder and a 22-yarder um, in his last two games. So, he's a big play type of wide receiver. At least he has been here early. You know, he's been in the NFL actually a little while. He's been in the NFL since 2017. He's been more of a blocking wide receiver. He's kind of busted out here, and he's played very well. And now, you know, the reason why you're going to see this line where it is, too, is like, you know, Michael Gallup is returning here for the Cowboys, but I don't think that's going to hurt him too much. Gallup is still banged up, and right now Cooper Rush has the chemistry with Noah Brown. We know this. We saw it last week, right? Uh, so we're going to go with what we know. Um, I'm expecting, honestly, another solid game here from him. And this secondary from the Giants has played very well here to start the season. They've played solid, but they're still vulnerable, right? ProFootballFocus.com had the Giants as a 20th ranked secondary coming into the season. Still think they're very beatable. You know, they played against Ryan Tannehill in Week 1. Tannehill still had a pretty good passing game. Then they played Baker Mayfield in Week 2, and it's like, you know, it's hard to really evaluate the secondary when they really haven't played. You know, they played two teams that love to run the football. Christian McCaffrey, obviously, for the Panthers, and then Derrick Henry for the Titans. They love to run the football. Um, and Baker is very hit and miss uh, just on his own. So, you know, I think here, I think with Cooper Rush, I think Cooper Rush, like I said, I think he's better than people give him credit for. I think he's not a bad quarterback at all. Um, and like I said, he's played very well in the time that he has seen the field. I think he finds uh, Brown here on a couple of passes again. Like I said, we only need maybe two, definitely three should get it done. Um, so really love this look, guys. Um, 
Like I said, they just haven't been tested. I don't think Gallup's going to hurt them that much. He's still going to be part of the starting formation there with the three wide receivers, uh, no matter what. So Braun's still going to – Braun should still get some reps regardless. So do love it there, guys, for our number two pick. We're going Noah Brown, over 37.5 receiving yards here for the Dallas Cowboys, minus 114 odds on FanDuel. Okay, and finally at number three – we're going with Daniel Jones, under 26.5 rushing yards here for the New York Giants. Minus 114 odds here on FanDuel. Kind of an interesting line here, right? Because we kind of know Daniel Jones. He likes to use his legs a little bit. But I think in this particular spot, he's starting to develop more actually into a better passing quarterback. Um, really, if you go back to the end of last year, uh, you see him developing into a better passer. And, you know, at the start of the season, he's hitting 70% of his passes to start the year, which I like seeing that. Um, it's the same type of thing that you see with Josh Allen, obviously, in Buffalo. Josh Allen, obviously, much better. Uh, but as they get more dominant in the passing game, they don't have to use their legs quite as much. Um, so here, you know, I think Jones, you know, obviously, I think you'll continue to see him throw the football. And you don't want to put this guy in, you know, harm's way. Still, he's not a big guy. You know, he's a slender guy. Uh, granted, they have run the ball with him 16 times so far this season, so that's very interesting. But he has gone under in both. I think we could see some regression as the season goes, as far as that goes. I don't think you're going to want to be giving this guy 10 carries a game. It just doesn't make any sense. He does not honestly have the build for that um, when you look at him, but that's just that's my opinion on that. I think, you know, obviously, you know, coordinators and stuff evaluate how they evaluate that. But by the numbers, I like it strictly. Uh, like I said, he's gone under on both games this year with a lot of carries, which means I see him taking less carries. Um... And he's also gone under in his last three games versus the Dallas Cowboys as well. So the Cowboys have actually played him very well that way. And if you've seen the Cowboys defense so far this season, they've been very fast, right? Uh, so I think if they get in on Jones, I don't think he'll be able to elude them too much. I really don't. Just from watching this Cowboys defense play, they're very fast, they're very quick. Um, and I think they could definitely get to Jones. I think they're going to hit him. I think he'll definitely take some sacks in this game. Um... And, uh, you know, the Cowboys in their two games that they've played have also held quarterbacks under this run total as well. And they did just play Joe Burrow last week, who also likes to use his legs from time to time. So, uh, I do like to see that. Um, coming in into week three here, Cowboys are third in sacks. So, they are, like I said, a very fast defense. Last nine regular season games, and this is really the thing that gets me with this one. Jones is 7-2 and two to this under in his last nine regular season games. And the two times he cashed were just barely, he just barely hit the over with 28 and 30 yards. So, you know, coupled with the fact that I think, you know, going forward, I think as the season progresses, I think you're going to want to start giving Daniel Jones less carries from the quarterback position. And if Barkley is playing the way he is, you don't really need him to run the football as much. Um, obviously, he's a threat to do it. Cowboys got to look out for that. Uh, but I do like the under here. The numbers kind of speak for themselves on this one. We'll take it there for our number three pick. Daniel Jones, under 26.5 rushing yards here for the New York Giants. Minus 114 odds here on FanDuel. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for our picks. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 7,000 subscribers. Guys, I really do appreciate all of your support at the channel. It's been a great month so far um, in the NFL. Hope we get on a nice run here. You know, we've been pretty solid in primetime football so far. Like I said, we don't have our results from Sunday yet, but... As of Sunday, we're 13-5 and five in our last six primetime games, so hopefully we can keep that going. Coming off a Thursday night game where we went 1-2, and two, though, so really want to bounce back here on Sunday night and Monday night football, so hopefully we do well on both those nights and our um, Sunday afternoon games as well. So appreciate you guys. Thank you all for the support. Uh, make sure you check out all of our social media links as well, and we will catch you all next time. Peace out.